Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today we're going to be talking about Venus flytrap growth. I've seen some comments from people who complain about the size of their Venus flytrap when they receive it in the mail from a nursery. Today I'm going to show you how much difference a year makes in their growth. I have a few examples of plants that I received just under a year ago from California carnivores. I'm going to show you an update today on how they look. Keep in mind, these plants have just recently come out of dormancy and the growing season has just started. So, really these plants that I received from them have only went through one full growing season and then into a dormancy and now they're here as we have them today. Make sure to stick around for the last one, it's by far the most drastic. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to do another update on these Venus flytraps at the end of this growing season so you can see how much they've grown from now through another entire growing season. Venus flytraps are relatively slow growing plants compared to others, but it's important to highlight how fast they can become the star of your plant collection, especially with the right care and love. I'm excited to show you a couple of great examples right now. Let me know in the comments how your Venus flytrap growth has been at the start of this growing season. Let's get this started. The first Venus flytrap that I wanna show you is my supernova. This is hands down one of my favorite Venus flytraps in my collection. I love the saw shaped cilia. I'm a huge sucker for that shape. You can see when I first opened it, it's a very healthy and strong Venus flytrap, but it's also relatively small. There's nothing super impressive in terms of its size, except maybe that one trap. Let's go ahead and fast forward just under a year and see where it's at. Here it is today. You can see it's really starting to take off. The amount of traps have significantly increased and there are many, many more popping up. You can see that the growth from just one full growing season is fairly substantial. Not just the amount of traps, but also the size of the traps. In another couple of months, this is going to be an incredible display. I really just can't wait. This is a really interesting Venus flytrap. You can see some of the older growth have more saw-shaped cilia, but the newer growth seems to be putting out some longer lashes. I'm eager to see how each trap changes as it gets older and bigger. Should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and jump into the next Venus flytrap that I have to show you, the Amptoboros. I really love this Venus flytrap. It's a red Venus flytrap, which usually shows up as more of a maroon or dark red color. This is not something that's caused by excessive light. This is just how these Venus flytraps are colored. You can see when I first received this flytrap, it had one straggler kind of sticking straight up. But outside of that one trap, it really wasn't that impressive in terms of size and the amount of traps. This one has so much potential and has a lot of room to grow. With the right care, it should absolutely just take off. Let's go ahead and jump in the DeLorean and jump to November 5th, 1955. Okay, I'm just kidding. I couldn't resist the Back to the Future reference, but let's go ahead and jump in today and see how the Amptoboros is looking. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. As you can see, there's been an explosion in size and the amount of traps. In a couple of months, this plant is going to be breathtaking. I love how the new trap has a mix of green and maroon. The contrast is really stunning. Not only does this plant have more larger traps from a year ago, but when I repotted it, it had two divisions that were big enough to start growing on their own. In another year, this pot will be too small for my mama, Antiboros, and her babies. I can't wait to share another update with you on this flight trap at the end of the growing season. It should be quite the stunner. Make sure to subscribe so you can get alerted when I share the update on these plants later in the summer. Real quick, before we jump to the next Venus flytrap, let me show you how you can get your hands on these Venus flytraps and many other amazing cultivars. Check this out. I'm so excited to be teaming up with California carnivores. They are one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year-round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery that you fall in love with. On top of that, they have been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter Bug Eater at checkout. That's B-U-G-E-A-T-E-R, Bug Eater. I have links in the description and the pinned comment so you can head on over and pick out the perfect carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and head on back to the video. All right, thank you so much for listening to that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Candy Cane Venus Flytrap. And make sure to stick around. The next example after the candy cane is by far the most drastic that I have for you here today. The candy cane is a really cool Venus flytrap. You can see from a year ago, it only had three traps and it was still hard to tell what shape it was going to take. These traps are really neat. They're kind of deformed looking with a little bit of frill on the edge. These are not functional traps. There's no trigger hairs on the inside, which means they won't close on prey. 
but let's go ahead and jump ahead a year and see how our little candy cane is doing. Wow, look at how much more growth it has. The traps are bigger and there are many more of them. You can really see the shape of the traps now. What a uniquely shaped Venus flytrap. Where the cilia usually are, there's this kind of wavy shape. The lack of lashes gives this Venus flytrap almost more of a leafy look than some of the others. You can see how much new growth is really starting to come up. In another month or two, this flytrap is going to be really full. But even just a year out from the original unboxing, it's already had an explosion of growth. I can't wait to see where this Venus flytrap growth is at the end of the summer. Okay, now here's the one you've all been waiting for. Here I am unboxing my Mr. Knightley Venus flytrap. Mr. Knightley came to me in a pretty small state. This is 100% a Venus flytrap that people would open and be slightly disappointed with. The color and health is outstanding, but the first thing people notice with Venus flytraps is always the size. What a beautiful little Venus flytrap. The amount of growth on this plant from a year really surprised even me, but it's a great example of what can happen with good care and a little patience. Okay, are you ready? Let's see how Mr. Knightley looks a year after unboxing from California Carnivores. Okay, here it is today. Wow, what a difference. After just one growing season and a dormancy later, this Mr. Knightley Venus flytrap is absolutely taking off. Most of the new traps growing in right now are over an inch long. Not only are these traps significantly bigger just a year down the road, but look how vigorously it's been growing. When I opened this flytrap, there were only four small traps. This Mr. Knightley is a prime example of why it's okay to receive a smaller plant in the mail. With the right care and love, it will grow to be extraordinary in a fairly short amount of time. I decided not to divide this plant when I repotted it, but now I'm thinking that maybe I should have. You can see two large flower stalks starting to come up. There are two full-sized adult plants here. I'll let them grow out this year and have two amazing large adult plants next year when I repot. My Mr. Knightley is one of my favorite Venus flytraps right now, with its vigorous growth and long-reaching lashes. It's truly a stunner. I wanted to make this video to kind of show off some amazing growth, but also to remind people to be patient when you get a plant from a nursery. Caring for them the correct way will help them grow big and strong. Part of proper care is getting the right substrate. I'm going to be listing my Venus flytrap substrate for sale here really soon. Please check the description to see if it's up and running. Having the right substrate is actually a huge part of making sure that your plants thrive. And speaking of proper care, check out the video popping up on the screen right now. I'm going to give you everything that you need to know to give your Venus flytrap the proper care it needs to grow like the plants that I've shown you today. This video has everything that you need and it's under 10 minutes. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing carnivorous plant content. Thank you so much for being here and I really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.